What is good guys? Good morning. Um, I'm already in the car. We've already left home. I've already had a coffee um, and uh, I just finished catching up with uh, some of my old bosses for a company I used to work with here in Australia. Bunch of great guys and uh, I worked with them for a long time being a network administrator and just kind of like as the company grew and stuff. So I don't know. It's just good to hang out with them. Um, anyways, all that aside, um, we are now about to go check out the building that we want to uh, get for Otaku Garage to move into. Um, all I've seen is pictures. Sam Vane has gone and looked at it with the real estate agent, so I'm going to meet with the agent now and check it out. I'm really excited about it. Um, May, are you excited? So I'm really pumped to see it. Um, and then after that, we're going to go to the Taco Garage. We've got a whole bunch of work, business work and stuff to do today. Um, but my goal by the end of the today is to have the R34 running on a base map, all the sensors installed, and just, you know, Everything doesn't have to be perfect wiring wise, as long as it's all plugged into the ECU and the car's starting so I can move it out of the driveway and organize it and tidy it up a bit so I can get it to the dyno and get it tuned because that's uh, coming up quick. I have drift mid series, so my car's gonna be perfect for that. So anyways, uh, let's get started and get into it. All right, so this is the place that we're looking at getting. It's from all the way in that corner, all the way to here, to the end of this first garage door here. And I love that there's a Type R Integra in the front there. Anyways, let's head inside. It's two story for the office and everything. So it's like perfect for what we need. Downstairs, this will be like our retail space. So we'll be able to put a whole bunch of shelving and cool products on display, parts wall and stuff like that all in here for customers, nice reception desk. It's so good. This really nice staircase that comes up to the top where we're going to have some nice office space, maybe a little filming studio and stuff for a lot of our stuff that we want to start producing for a Taku garage. Need to definitely paint some things. Um, we're going to be getting the whole new carpet and wall painted and stuff. The owners agreed to that, so that's awesome. Then the workshop space is just amazing. So good. We could, we could fit like three to four bays across here. The acoustics sound good. There's just so much potential. It's really wide in here coming through the door. It's an electric door as well with a manual override. So we don't have to get the, to pull the chain every morning. It's just, it's perfect. We've got our bathroom and everything here. I'm not sure what we'd use this for, but we might just pull this out. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's so perfect. We're so happy. Um, today we're gonna pay, put down the deposit on it and um, go from there, but this is probably, I oh mean, I'm so excited. This is gonna be like the new space for Otaku Garage. We're here in Brendale as well, really close to Strathpine. It's gonna be perfect. All right, so that was awesome being able to check out that property. I'm super excited about us moving to there. I think it's gonna be perfect for us to grow in the future and everything. Um, there's still a little bit of paperwork there to like 100% lock it in, um, but uh, at this point, it looks like everything's gonna going according to plan and stuff. Um, what we're doing now is we're gonna head to the workshop, I'm gonna get those batteries switched out and then um, yeah, we'll continue from there and hopefully get home and start wiring up the R34 with the new ECU. 180! Yay, Japanese cars! <laughs> So it is now actually the end of the day. The entire day I've just been flat out catching up on paperwork, dealing with real estate agents, solicitors, um, all that type of stuff to get the money and everything and the deposit paid. And, and it's it's been hectic to get that building finalized for us. Um, what else happened? A whole bunch of other stuff happened, but I did get some progress on the 34. Um, we got a new battery and uh, that's another battery for my dad's motorbike. Um, so that'll sort him out and get his bike running again. Um, but man, it's it's been a bit of a crazy day, whole bunch of paperwork and catching up on things, just business related stuff, boring stuff you don't wanna know about. Um, but we are oh, like two steps closer to finding out a date when we can move into the new place and getting all of that organized and worked out, which is great. Um, and then I also talked to the tuner. If I can get everything ready on my car, I can go to the dyno tomorrow after lunch. If not, it's gonna to have to be the day after. So it all now, I, I had a look at the 180 to pull that plug out and that cable, and it is like deep down in the bellows behind the dash, because it's all in a custom location and stuff. So it'd be a huge pain in the butt to have to pull that out. So I'm glad I did buy that stuff off Link's website, because it should be here tomorrow morning. Grab that, put that in the car, 
do up all the sensors and maybe make it to the dyno, put on my uh, bass tune and just kind of road tune it to get me there. And then uh, we should be good. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Um, anyways, once we get home, we're going to put the new battery in and uh, put the ECU in without the wideband and load the base map on it and get things going from there. Um, and then that way, we're not going to be able to start the car. Oh, actually we could if I keep the airflow meter in there. Well, yeah, we could do that. We can start the car um, and that way I can at least like back it out and stuff. But it's already getting dark because it's late and I may need to hang back at the workshop for a bit to have a business meeting. Things are hectic. Um, and uh, I don't know. We're going to try and go out for dinner tonight and do something. Um, but we'll see what happens. Everything's all up in the air just because of how many things I need to catch up on. And I'm sorry for that. And the vlog has been affected and whatnot. But I'm sure you guys understand at the same time. So we'll leave it at that. And I'll catch you guys soon. Okay, so time warping ahead. I am now home uh, with the R34. The lighting isn't the best here in this garage. So I've set up this crappy lamp, desk lamp that I had in my old bedroom uh, to light up everything in the engine bay for me and for you guys while I'm doing a time lapse. What I'm going to be doing is hooking up the new battery, um, temporarily placing this here until tomorrow morning when I can get the car out there, pressure clean and bicarb soda, all that acid and stuff to neutralize it and so it doesn't do any more damage. Um, and so obviously I need to take the battery out to redo all that. But my goal tonight is to get the car cranking. I am going to plug in the Link ECU with the base map on there. And I'm just going to see if I can get the car to idle. I do still have the airflow meter. Um, I'm, I ended up not taking the loom out of the 180SX for the wideband because it's going to just arrive tomorrow morning anyway from Overnight Express. So, um, and I'm not hooking up the air temperature sensor tonight yet either. So I'm going to do all of that tomorrow morning and then if everything goes well i'll quickly do a quick road tune so it's just basic so all i need to do is stay out of boost get to the tuners and we'll be good i also need to do an oil change on this because the oil has been sitting for a while put fresh gas in the car and stuff like that all the things that you need to do while the car's been sitting here doing nothing needs to be done as well um, but yeah lots of stuff to do but anyways for now battery stuff see if we can get the car cranking and an ecu in there and go from there i guess Okay, so I've got the Link ECU all plugged in down there and the battery's connected. You've got the ignition on, I've got the USB cable plugged in. And uh, what I'm doing now is I've got to unlock the ECU. So when I connect to the ECU here, it's gonna say that blah, 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 ECU is disabled, you need to unlock it. So I've got to ECU controls now that I'm connected, ECU unlock, and I now need to put in the unlock code there, which I already have pre-done. Unlock code accepted and my rev meter just went up and everything. So everything is enabled now with the car. Now from here, I need to put my base map on. So uh, Link provide a whole bunch of base maps here. And what I can do is go back here and go into, I uh, need to find Nissan, Nissan, GTS, -T, GTS, GTR. Uh, R34 GTT right there. Click open. Yes, the five five will download the settings to the ECU. Click yes. So now this is going to send all the data to the ECU of the base map. Do you wish to carry out a store command? This then stores the data. Click yes. Boom. So now everything should be loaded for like a stop GTT. This is not a tune to drive on though. Don't think you can just drive on this tune. You need to do some tuning before and make sure your fuel map and everything's all good. Um, but I know for a fact that we should be able to fire this up in theory and just see if it'll crank. So I'm gonna turn the ignition off. I mean, I've got half a tank of gas in this. That's gonna be old gas. This will may not start. There you go. Accelerator goes all the way up. Let's just see if it'll crank, eh? Okay, it fired up like instantly. Man, that was like first crank and it fired up. That's ridiculous. Okay, I am done for today. Um, I am going to save this. And then I'm gonna pack everything up. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be working on this, getting this thing idling, doing a road tune, going to the dinos maybe tomorrow, if I'm lucky, if I get all the sensors in in time. 
we'll go from there. But that's exciting. The car cranked and started like first crank. That's awesome. All right, so that was super exciting. The car started on like the very first crank. Um, man, I'm so excited, heart's pumping. I kind of wish I disabled the injectors and got to crank it a bit first to try and build up some oil pressure before uh, it kicked over. I was not expecting it to kick over like that, especially with fuel that had been sitting so long. So um, kind of excited, but also I was like, ooh, that's not that great. But anyways, I shut it off instantly, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, I'm super excited about tomorrow. First thing on my agenda is push the car out, pressure clean inside the engine bay, um, put the and then put the whole bicarb soda down to neutralize the acid, then pressure clean it all out again after like the bicarb soaked in for a bit. Um, once that's all done, then I'm gonna refit the battery and actually bolt it in this time. Then what I'm going to do is um, install the air temperature sensor and the wideband O2 sensor. Gonna still install that, but obviously I don't have that plug in that cable yet that plugs into the ECU for the Lambda kit to work. So I'll put it all in and just have the plug sitting next to the ECU for the wideband when, when I get that cable. I did check the tracking for it. It is gonna to arrive tomorrow morning, but obviously I'm gonna be at home doing that and I'll have to duck to the workshop to pick it up and then come back and then install it. Then I'm going to do like a really basic road tune on the car so that it's safe for me to just get to the dyno not going into boost. So I'm gonna be babying it all the way there to the dyno tuner. Uh, I need to do an oil change on it too because the oil in there has been sitting for so long. Um, I also need to get some fresh fuel in there. So I need to probably um, either drain what's in there or uh, test it somehow. So probably gonna go, because there's half a tank in there. I'm gonna probably try and drain it all out and just put fresh stuff in. Um, and I'll just give the fuel to my dad for his lawnmower or something. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm super excited, pumped about the car. We're gonna be able to get this thing going. I do have a tune book for tomorrow sometime after lunch, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to make that deadline. So I'm just gonna call him up and change it to Friday. He's pretty easy like that. He's happy to fit me in whenever. So that's really good. I'm actually really excited to introduce you guys to him and show you the dyno tune. And we're gonna go through a little bit in depth of that. Um, as well as tomorrow, I'll go into in depth a little bit about you know getting the car kind of road tuned to a point where I can drive it. Um, but yeah, anyways, all things aside, I'm kind of repeating myself. There's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to happen like with the garage, with the move and everything. And today was all over the place. I'm sure you gathered that from the vlogs and I'm sure you guys understand. I'm gonna try a lot harder to try and vlog things a little bit better. Um, but obviously I don't wanna sh like talk to you guys about all this business stuff because I think that's boring. Um, for you guys anyways, you don't need to hear that and, and you know, but obviously like just telling you that we're moving and how excited I am. Look, I'm so tired, I can't even stand up straight. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, guys, I'm rambling on now. I'm super excited for while I'm here because I get to pull down the 180 motor, work out why that bang uh, blew up. The oil pump failed on that before we could even get it to the dyno. And there's some weird stuff all on the head like dirt or something. So we've got to work out, pull it all down, work out what happened there. Um, and then make a battle plan on when we can get that running again. My priority though is I'm going to, I want to help Sam to clear out some of the back work. So I'm putting my car the 180SX on the sideline again, just to help him clear all the bad, like the backlog out. And then once all that backlog's cleared out and we're moved and we're not stressing about any of that stuff and things that are going on, then we can start focusing on the 180SX, which is essentially the workshop car. Like it is my car, but it's like, it's what I've given to the company so that we can use it to promote the business and stuff like that. And I think that's really important to get out there and we do want to work on that, but obviously customers come first. Um, so we want to work on that. And now the move and everything like that has put a huge thing in it, but there's still heaps of other work we're going to get done that we get to film, uh, like the, the LS RX-8 and stuff like that. We'll, we'll film a whole bunch about that. and. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit up all the social media down in the description. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Guys, ciao, matane.